Researchers and drug companies are bringing more treatments closer to cancer cells. They're targeting the molecules cancer cells produce or the cancer's own genes using antibodies and genetic cues that guide new drugs precisely. New studies have shown increased survival rates for patients, even if by just a few years or even a few months. Essentially understanding the biology of the diseases that we're studying has permitted us to then go after what we call druggable targets, things that can be inhibitors or blockers that can be precisely created to go after these very specific vulnerability points. A trial of the drug osimertinib cut the risk of death by half in people who've already had surgery for lung cancer. The study involved 600 participants and lasted three years. It targeted a mutation inside the cancerous lung cells. In a two-year study of more than 300 patients with malignant brain tumors, a drug called veracinidib slowed the cancer from growing. It targets the tumor's own proteins. And in a study of more than 450 women with advanced ovarian cancer, a drug called Elahir extended life by just months, but it was the first significant drug to do so. It uses antibodies to deliver chemotherapy directly to the cancer cell. Late stage cancers are often tackled with radiation and chemotherapy, but both can be difficult. There are lots of exciting developments, but there's still a ways to go to, to have the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. And I think we still, we still need a ton of research in this area. And also the global disparities and the availability of these drugs are very alarming. What is becoming clearer is that better molecules may soon lead to better options for more patients.